they take the jokes very seriously <laughs> now women are arguing god could be a woman such problems exist only in those cultures in india we have man god we have woman god we have cow god we have monkey god we have everything every kind crawling one creeping one flying one Baby, you can call me a Superman. Cho 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 cha cha gani ta kupama. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and the girl Fanny Lungu, and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to the channel. Really, we have time for P. We wanna get to 10,000 subscribers in two days, and I know we're gonna get there. And the most important thing, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there who's been able to give us suggestions. We have a lot of suggestions that we are actually planning on doing those videos as uh, as we go on. And uh, regarding suggestions, regarding the reactions, today we're going to do another reaction. And this one right here was suggested by, I think, um, this also, uh, like a lot of people wanted us to react on this one, yeah? Yeah, plenty. Yeah, a lot of people wanted us to react on this video right here. And today we're going to do what is God and this is from Sanguru. Everybody knows Sanguru, we've done a couple of reactions about him, about his uh, videos and stuff like that. And yeah, so let's find out from Sanguru what is God. And yeah, without any further ado guys, let's get it. The soul is sacred for people. The body is filthy. How is it possible? Yes? That's what we've been doing, isn't it so? Saying God is sacred, creation is filthy. How is it possible? Your very, the very thought of God occurred to you only because you saw creation, isn't it? When you were born and you opened your eyes, you looked around, so much creation. Before you came here, so much has happened. Obviously, you did not create it. So you thought, there must be a creator. This is how you come to the creator, isn't it? The moment you thought there must be a creator, because you are in a human form, you thought it must be a big man. A small man like me cannot do all this. It must be a big man. Just two hands, how can it do so much creation? Must be eight hands. Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it so? If you were a buffalo, you would be really thinking, God is a huge buffalo. Isn't it so? Yes or no? You go and ask a buffalo and see. A buffalo will insist, God is a huge buffalo. Maybe four horns. You know Idi Amin? You heard of Idi Amin? The Uganda man? Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him. If a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have a black God? But both those people are confused. We know God is brown. <laughs> Because he visited us, you know. <laughs> Some time ago, I was talking to a group of people in Nashville, in Tennessee, and I was telling them a joke. In the joke, I just referred to God as Him. Immediately a few ladies stood up. Do you believe God is a man? I knew where it's going. I said, see, I <laughs> See, I'm only telling you a joke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You said him. Do you believe God is a man? They take the jokes very seriously. <laughs> now women are arguing God could be a woman. Such problems exist only in those cultures. In India, 
we have man god, we have woman god, we have cow god, we have monkey god, we have everything. Every kind, crawling one, creeping one, flying one, because we foresaw all the problems of the future. <laughs> See, when man was the most powerful force on the planet, man was naturally God. Now women are also gaining in their power, so women are questioning, why, why can't it be a woman? So tomorrow suppose dogs gain lot of power which they're gaining, so dogs will ask, why not a dog god? Actually the spelling also is close, you know <laughs> He seemed to be closer than you, isn't it? So your idea of God is just an, ex an exaggerated version of yourself, isn't it? Your idea of God is just an exaggerated version of yourself. See, you are still not able to define yourself, isn't it? Whatever definition you put on yourself is not correct. Any kind of definition you put on you, it is not enough to describe this one. When this small piece of creation is like this, the source of creation, how are you going to put a definition on it? You cannot define it, you cannot understand it, you can only dissolve into it. You can experience it, you can never know it, you can't make knowledge out of it. Whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense, cultural nonsense. Depending upon which kind of culture you are in, that kind of God you have, isn't it? It can only be experienced. Experience does not mean you can eat it or you can grasp it, no. You can experience only by dissolving in it. There is no other way. So, we are just looking for methods of dissolution so that we can experience something far bigger than ourselves. Is a Sangu is one of the people that you want to listen to probably like every day you get it. like you want to hear what he's gonna say. I mean you want to hear exactly what he wants to talk about and, and probably learn from it and stuff like that. He talked about the video we're reacting here is uh, what is God. I mean people have different definition of their God, like what is said, when you meet, okay not people, like let's say uh, living things and probably like a buffalo will think that uh, God is a big buffalo, yeah? um, a chicken will think that uh, God is a big chicken, you get it? We as humans <clears throat> we think that God is in human form and even to make it more, more uh, like to top it all, we we are uh, like calling him as a as a what? What do you call it? To refer to him. Yeah, to refer to him or something like that. Anyway, so towards the end, he, 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 he started speaking about dissolving yourself into it, like experience it. You get it? Like you, you can't you can't actually know not know, you can't actually um, explain what God is, okay? Just like the way you don't know much about yourself, even if you start describing yourself now, that's not you, you get it? So, I mean, you you can't describe yourself. If, you, if somebody asks you to describe who you are, probably you wouldn't know much about you, you get it? So the same way you can't describe what God is. I mean, it's, it's something that you can't even handle, it's something that you can't even... Uh, touch you get it something that you can't even so the only thing is just to dissolve in it you get it yeah it's, it's such an amazing 
was deep to because you know when you think about it anyway i just want to hear what you think about this video what do you think i feel like this one is straightforward mm -hmm. like he said the humor that comes with it just makes everything um, interesting. I mean, you don't have to take life so serious all the time. Yeah, you don't have to. Sometimes, even make yourself laugh. Your teaching make the class interesting by what? Cracking jokes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just feel like it's straightforward. It's a very straightforward thing, like, just to be honest. But, would, would, like, um, I normally ask myself a lot of questions. <clears throat> Do you think we are like we we as humans, yeah? We call ourselves the most advanced creatures in the entire world. Do you think we are the most advanced creatures in the entire world? Do you think on Earth? Do you think the Do you think God is in human form? No. Hmm? You don't think that. No. You think God is in human form? No, I don't think so. But in these religious books, they say that we are made in His image. Yes, so. So what does that mean? I have no idea. Stop complicating life for yourself. Uh, anyway. I may have thought about that, but something is there in the Bible. Yes, like, I know. It is only image. So I think pro probably that's portion of a verse maybe makes people think that uh, the God we serve is human. Also okay. ask yourself what does God mean? Yeah. I mean and, and again why are we using the word? If we're using the word God at it and it's in English. Mm -hmm. You've told me many times and I've heard other people say words have been turned like yeah. twisted. Yeah. Like God used to mean something else. Mm -hmm. Just like um, something nice today could mean stupid. Yeah, true. Like funny could mean stupid. Like true. back then it meant stupid. So how sure are we that God actually means the actual God? Yes, God as we understand it these days. That's a really deep question because even when we started reacting on the probably Islam videos. Uh, Dr. Naik was talking about um, we refer to to our God as God, but which God are you talking about? Because is it the God with the small G or is it the God with the big T? That's where another problem comes in. Like um, English is a is a language. Okay, uh, some people are saying it's a caste language. I second that because you see. Okay, look at this example that we're trying to give out like god with the small g and god with the big g i mean it's it's, it's already a confusion and and again why would they label uh, some, uh what do you call this a dog the way it's, it's called a dog but again when you look at that word in the reverse it is called god i mean if why why would you i mean the name god it shouldn't be anywhere close to to the you know either when you reverse it you get something you understand what i mean mm -hmm. even if you reverse god you don't get anything that exists as that as 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 that as, as that particular word or whatever you get it's supposed to be something unique totally different you get but if you reverse god you get dog if you i don't know it's just so confusing that's why i'm saying this language is just something else you get it but anyway that's Back another to topic from another yeah it was a good video good message yeah good video good message just let us know what you know what you think what is god according to your own perspective according to your own thinking and do you think that uh, uh god is in human form no not not human form do you think like the way we humans think that god is uh, 10 times bigger like the funniest thing he said is God is brown. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, just let us know in the comment section what do you think about this video right here. If you feel like you could react to this video in a better way, so give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what do you feel about our video reaction. What do you feel about this video about what God, um, what is God? 
by some group just let us know in the comment section below we really really want to hear from you guys what do you think anyway guys just let us know in the comment section below and we really we'll be really really happy to hear from you guys and last but not the least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out